Remember the days when it was just the advertiser, agency and publishers in the online advertising space? Leisurely lunches, deals done based on who you know, complimentary tickets to events, the full treatment. Ad spend in online advertising showing double digit growth year over year with display advertising being the fastest growing at the moment and to grow from 35 billion today to potentially 200 billion in 2016. Remember the days when you had to go to the travel agency to book a flight, a hotel and a holiday. Imagine if you still had to do that today. These days you would expect to be able to do this at your convenience online when it suits you. Not just when the travel agency is open. But when you want to make a special trip or have specific requirements you still go to the travel agency. You share your plans and your budget and you expect them to come up with a custom made holiday for you. Right? This same innovation has emerged within marketing as well. It is not just the agencies, advertisers and publishers any longer. The rise of the ad tech is here. And new categories and companies abound in what seems like an increasing crowded space. So how does this all work? For publishers and media owners it all starts with understanding your site's inventory and audience. For advertisers it starts with understanding the goals and objectives of finding your audience, of driving sales and moving products off the shelf in a measurable and accountable way. How do you make sense of it all to achieve your goals? Advertiser A, that is actually BMW, really wants the impression because the impression likes cars, has a higher education and is in the age 35 to 40. Advertiser B is actually Apple that wants the impression because it is a man with more than average income in the age 35 to 49. Advertiser C is actually Nintendo that wants the impression because it is a gamer that they know is about to buy a new console and they are releasing one. Advertiser D that is actually Mattel wants the impression because it has a kid and they have a new super cool toy on the market. The publisher then invites them all to make a bid and reveal who they are. BMW is sent away because it is on the block list. Mattel is sent away because its bid is too low. Nintendo wins because it has the best bid and as a result can show its ads on the website of the publisher. On the publisher side, all these variables, settings, currencies and bids enter the mix. Before starting the auction, different yield, ad and channel rules and quality control settings are applied. And then the magic happens. Of course it's not really magic, but a super smart algorithm that is able to take in all the pricing models, different bids in multiple currencies and translates these one common denominator using all of the settings of the campaigns, data, historical, real time and predictive data on eCPM, frequency, recency, click rate, browser, geography, creative and placement level to determine who wins the auction. This entire process happens per single impression and the log of the auction of one impression is easily over 30 pages long. Impressive? Then what about this? The decision who wins the auction is made in 2 milliseconds. And that is where both sides meet. So what does this bring publishers, media owners and advertisers and what action should they take? In a world where machines and algorithms are taking centre stage, where every single unique user and impression is auctioned between hundreds of bidders, both direct and through third parties, to define its real value, publishers and advertisers need technology that advocates on each other's behalf, and we need specialist people that are able to use the technology to get the most out of it, define the strategy and enabling an environment where all this is possible, deciding on the rules of the game, negotiating and helping both publishers and advertisers reach their goal. It is all about benefiting from the possibilities these changes in the ecosystem are bringing and ultimately controlling your long-term destiny. Make sure you are in the driving seat. This is a period of change and transition. Will you be in the driving seat?